Here's how to use Audacity to remove the background noise from an audio file. I'll first show it to you quickly, and then after that, I'll show it to you again more slowly. With the audio track on the timeline here, I'm going to highlight a part of it where I wasn't talking. Then I'll go to Effect, Noise Removal and Repair, Noise Reduction, Get Noise Profile, which will close the box. I'll then highlight the entire track and go back into Effect, Noise Removal and Repair, Noise Reduction, and this time I'll just click OK. The background noise is now removed. Now here it is again, but in more detail. First I downloaded Audacity, which is a free program. I then opened it. Prior to all this, I created an audio recording of me speaking with a fan in the background. And this is what it sounds like. Hello, welcome to the How To X channel. I'm Kevin, it's nice to meet you. So I wanna get rid of that fan noise. I'm going to drag and drop that file into the dark area here of Audacity. I'll then hold down the left mouse button to highlight a gap where I'm not talking. It'll just be the fan noise by itself. The longer that highlighted part is, the better it is at removing that noise. I'll then go to Effect, Noise Removal and Repair. Noise Reduction. I'll click Get Noise Profile, which is step one. That closes the box. It'll unhighlight the highlighted part, but it'll remember it until I exit Audacity. This time I'll highlight the entire track by going to this area here and left clicking it once. The reason I'm selecting the entire track is because I had the fan running the entire track. If you have a track where you have an unwanted background noise that is just showing for one portion of the track, you wouldn't want to highlight the entire track like I just did. You'll just highlight the portion where that noise was in the background. Hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, with mine highlighted, I'm gonna go to Effect, Noise Removal and Repair, Noise Reduction, We'll do step two now, and there's some settings in this step that I normally keep as is, and feel free to adjust yours to match mine here. I've been using these settings for years and years and have never had much of an issue. Of course, your type of audio could be different from my type of audio, and your voice might sound different from mine, so adjusting some of these settings may work out better for you. So let me explain what each one of these settings is. Noise reduction tells it how much to reduce the volume of the background noise. You might think that cranking it up to the highest level would be the best option because that would eliminate all the background noise. However, if you do that, it's gonna take a bite out of the audio that you want to keep. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that here. I'm gonna crank it all the way up and just click OK. And here's what it sounds like. Hello, welcome to the How To X channel. I'm Kevin, it's nice to meet you. It's not too bad, but I can tell it took something away from my voice. Sensitivity is kind of the same as noise reduction, except it determines how much of the audio it thinks is noise. That's how I understand it. If I set it at the lowest setting, I still hear a little bit of the fan in the background. If I set it to the highest setting, it once again takes some portion of my voice away. Frequency smoothing is something I researched but could not wrap my mind around it. When it comes to this audio sample that I've been working with here, I cannot tell a difference between when I make this setting low versus when I make it high. I did find this person who said it reduces the creation of artifacts at the expense of the sound you want to keep. They recommend keeping it at three. Last on this page is a toggle for reduce and residue. I always keep it on reduce, and that means when I hit OK on step two here, it'll reduce the background noise according to the settings I specified here. But if you choose residue and hit OK, it's gonna change the highlighted portion of your track to just the background noise that you would be removing. So you can kind of use it to preview what that background noise sounds like with the isolated by itself. Let me go ahead and demonstrate that. I'll change it to residue and click OK. 
and then I'll play it. So what you heard is what is going to be removed from the audio track if I have it set on reduce. Since I heard a little bit of my voice in there, it means that some of my voice is getting removed, but it's not that much. So I'm gonna keep my settings as is. Now I need to revert my track back to the way it was. And I can do that by going to edit and choosing undo noise reduction. I'll go ahead and bring up noise reduction again and just go ahead and choose reduce and okay. This is now what it sounds like. Hello, welcome to the How To X channel. I'm Kevin, it's nice to meet you. So most of the fan is gone and I'm happy with it. So now I can export this track by going to file, export audio, then assigning a name and a place for the file to save. But if I wanted to save my worksheet here where I've been working in Audacity, I can go to File, Save Project, and Save Project As. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and thanks for watching.